Hey guys, it's Anthony Bandiero here, attorney and senior legal instructor for Blue to Gold. Got a question from an officer in South Dakota. What happens if you lose, re if you, if you, um, if you dispel your reasonable suspicion on a traffic stop, but before releasing them, you see other evidence? Can you continue that that investigation? Um, so this is maybe a common kind of fact pattern for a lot of you guys. Uh, the officer says. Let's say that the officer sees a, a vehicle with an expired tag, initiates a traffic stop while walking up to the car, sees that, you know what, I made a mistake. You know, the, the tag is actually is valid. Um, you know, that's not a that's not a six. That's an eight, whatever. Right. Um, but then goes up to the car and tells the driver, hey, you know what? Look, I, I thought your 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 registration was invalid. I can see that it is. So normally I'm not going to need any of your paperwork. You are free to go, about to tell him he's free to go, but then smells the odor of marijuana. Now, it's still illegal. Recreational use is illegal in South Dakota. Um, or, you know, even if it was legal, insert the blank, right? While telling this person that why the traffic stop occurred and releasing them, the, the officer sees some other plain view evidence, right? Methamphetamine pipe, drugs in plain view, you know, a gun, you know, and it states where it's not legal to have a gun in plain view like that. Can the officer then continue that investigation? The answer is absolutely. So first of all, I like how the officer tells me that after he notices the, the, the registration is invalid, that he's not demanding paperwork. And, I, and I, that's important because under Terry versus Ohio, when does the detention end? It ends when the officer dispels or confirms, or does, I'm sorry, it doesn't end when, it, it ends when the officer dispels their suspicions, right? Well, when were the suspicions dispelled at the point that the officer saw the tag, believed it was correct, wasn't fraudulent, no evidence of fraud and so forth. So the detention is really over at this point. Now, what about this, you know, talking to them at the door? And, and I think that's completely reasonable. No court in the United States is going to throw that part out because it'd be kind of weird to, to not release them in some formal fashion. I mean, if the officer saw the tag and then turned around and got in his car and left, the, the person would be dumbfounded by that. So it's absolutely reasonable to just let that person know that they're no longer being detained. And at that point, during that transition to let them go, the officer sees or smells plain view evidence, then, then we go from there. That's a new crime committed in your presence. You have lawful authority to investigate that. And we start anew, whether it's probable cause or reasonable suspicion. So excellent question. It happens all the time. There's no problem whatsoever in this fact pattern. It's good to go. All right. Keep up the good work. Hit like, comment, subscribe, and I appreciate it. Okay, guys. See you next time. When it comes to law enforcement training, we are the gold standard. Visit bluetogold.com or call 888-579-7796 to learn more about our training, books, and free webinars. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel.